hi welcome back to our channel thanks for returning and watching some more videos of us so i am Charles. i'm the bassist of big fat big as you can tell now we're getting stuck into doing more and more youtube videos because we can't really meet up as much anymore I'm putting some more content out for you so you can kind of like have a, a bit of an in insight of what we kind of do every day or what we want to talk about what things we think about um I mean if that if that's what you're into today i'm gonna do the three habits three goals and uh three pieces of advice so i know robin and katie had watched emma's rectangle video um i think they've probably explained about before in the video hopefully mine's not going out first but basically someone talks about five things of each of those categories and just explains a little bit more of what she's going to do throughout the year what i'm going to do is i'm going to start with three habits now it's really hard to set myself targets uh, and things like that all the time as robin and katie both know from me and my personality i'm pr pretty much like uh, not a lot's going up on here uh, constantly i just kind of like it's a bit of an empty void <laughs> not to say that i don't think of things but it's a lot of the time i'm just quite passive in um not being quite, kind of like present in the room i tend to like just glide by in life instead of setting targets and like achieving them throughout the day i can like kind of waste the day sometimes doing nothing three habits first one is using my downtime effectively instead of uh, procrastinating so that kind of like goes back to what i was saying i really do have trouble sometimes concentrating in the moment i don't know actually what that is it's just a thing that's always happened in my brain people can be talking to me and it just doesn't doesn't go in i think using my downtime more effectively so i want to be using my brain a little bit more than i do maybe that'll help me concentrate on conversations and things like that i can just sit in my room and not go on my phone not do anything at all and just sit and enjoy nothing than nothingness i suppose maybe changing that into more of a meditation and, and and using it in periods of time of like five minutes if i want to sit and do that because um, sometimes it can really clear my clear my mind and doing things like i'm really uh, i love to draw and paint and make things but i just haven't done that for a really long time and again it's almost like a meditation for me when i'm doing something creative whether it's bass, art, help me cope with my mental health a little bit easier. Keeping my brain active, keeping my brain um, not distracted, but all like working and creating. So I think that was a really good one for me. Again, I don't mean to be sort of vacant in uh, in life and experiences. I just just tends to, <laughs> tends to happen that I don't, I don't know what I'm doing ever. Another one is it's kind of the same as. The first one was it, it was using my downtime more effectively so doing something in the day this one kind of coexists with it is setting ta tasks every day like on like a little pad or something like this so that i can tick them off and achieve them because sometimes i'll go through a whole day and it feels like two minutes like my whole day feels like it's gone in two minutes like that and i've done absolutely nothing it's because i'm sat either not thinking at all in vacant space or i'm sat thinking I need to do this but i don't know what the steps are or maybe i should break things down into more bite-sized pieces so it becomes more achievable in my brain if i have to do a project for uni and it's like write a whole essay go write a whole essay i mean that's a lot it's like go find sources tick that off build a plan tick that off brief description of each paragraph that you're going to write tick that off edit bibliography and things like that just i feel like it's a bit more of an achievable goal if i break things down just a little bit easier and um i find a lot of things if i write them down onto a piece of paper instead of an ipad or anything like that my brain tends to go great i can do this where uh, we'll go get it done i don't know why i think I, I i don't know if a lot of people have that thing i think it's just a way of convincing my brain to do something other than nothing uh, maybe one of my girls should just stop saying air all the time on these videos because it's so hard not to do it and say like Ugh. but no my last one is um 
less junk food now it's not a point that i want to like lose weight or anything like that don't get me wrong if i did lose a little bit of weight i would be happy with it it's not like i would be like oh my god i don't want to i'm quite content in the way that like how much weight i have on me is that words together i'm content with my body basically sometimes do feel self-conscious and things but it's just um i think everybody does whether it's any part of your body when i'm stressed i tend to eat when i eat sugary foods or fattening foods or anything like that it, it's almost like filling like an empty space of which i feel like needs to be filled i don't know if that's some kind of like mental thing but it definitely happens when i'm stressed i just think i just need to eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and um that's what i tend to do Whereas when I'm not stressed and I'm <laughs> chilled out, I don't have any junk food and I feel so much better. I just feel more confident in myself. Whereas when I eat a lot of junk food, I feel like I'm like, oh, I don't like this or I don't want to, I maybe can't wear that or I can't wear this. And I think it's the sugar is an addictive thing. Um, and then I crash and it makes me feel shit basically. So eating less junk food makes me feel much better about myself. It makes me feel better about the way I look. I feel more active. I feel like I can do more things. I feel healthier. I'm less moody too. But I want to eat less junk food this year. Um, my goal is to kind of like treat myself once a week, but not put in a label of when it is or what time it is. Three goals as well. A goal this year is actually, um, I want to open an Etsy shop so I always have like a billion ideas going through my brain at once about like loads of creative things that I can do what I want to make and I never give myself the confidence in the ability to sell what I make creatively I feel like I am very creative and I don't use utilize it uh the way I should I know when I lived with my sister she would hammer on a beat like saying you should sell these you should sell these you should open a shop you should make them people want them they'll love them because she loved my work and i would be sat there going i don't think anybody would buy this or if they did it'd be one person then like what does that matter but in reality if one person did want that that one person would be pretty satisfied and happy and to give myself more confidence in that my work is good and I always get compliments, not like anyone's like, hey, that's absolutely fucking atrocious. Just give myself a little bit more confidence uh, in what I do. I really do want to be able to live and not have to like get myself a mini job, but doing something where I'm in control of everything, painting, creating, sending it off in the post. So I think I've seen a few pages recently that um are just a little bit crafty and on tiktok i can imagine you've all seen them but is people making their own stuff now and i think as well as that is small local businesses people are buying into a little bit more with covid not only that you know where it's coming from and how much work has gone into it i want to either set myself up a little etsy or an instagram page and start selling my creative artwork i think that would be super a super goal for this year my next goal is to be more socially active i have a thing where i really enjoy being on my own a lot and i like being in my own space i like having downtime to myself i could go months and months and months in my own brain i could go months and months and months without seeing another human being and i would be absolutely fine i could keep myself occupied it's hard with lockdown obviously because we don't have the ability to go out and about um doing things but when that's over is going out more meeting up with my friends when i say i'll meet up with my friends i tend to again make plans and then when the day comes around i'm so vacant that i've completely forgotten what i was supposed to do that day um, i'm really bad with that but like i say is having a balance of it because in my head i do need to recharge in space of my own otherwise i get like super stressed and i can't deal with any human being <laughs> at all <laughs> having the balance of like being on my own and with going back to the habits to set myself targets in my downtime to enjoy it more to experience it more but also being 
socially aware and active and um, present in the moment with my friends that I do have because I do have quite a lot of friends and somehow they're still friends with me even though I don't talk to, talk to them or meet up with them but it just shows how good of human beings them uh, they all are sorry if this ruins the con con whatever the word is for it not being the same continuity there we go so my next my next goal is to be able to play either Dean Town, I say either, to play Dean Town and 1612 all the way through by Vulpec. Obviously their basis is Judd Dart, but I want to be able to play those all the way through and the reason I set that as a goal is because I wanted a music goal for myself this year as well. I don't tend to practice bass, I know it's quite naughty, but the only way I practice bass is tend to put my headphones in and work out songs that I particularly like, whether it's local musician songs or whether it's big bands or whatever. Uh, I tend to like to do that. I like figuring out a bass line. I like figuring out a bass line because it's always wrong at first, but it's still a good bass line. Then figuring out the little fiddly bits. And the reason I like doing it is because sometimes I hear a different bass line first and it kind of is like, well, that isn't the baseline for one and two it gives me inspiration for my own baselines or other things that I could hear in my own baselines that I could maybe add in or change or whatever it's quite in, like a good like exercise I don't do scales um or anything like that and the reason is because I can't be fucking ass and it makes me I'm bored it's boring I don't like it and it kills my passion for music I've done it before um, when I first started uni and I honestly was like this close to wanting to throw my bass at a wall because I feel like obviously it's different with people who are professionals and they know a lot of bass they do theory obviously helps you um for some bassists but if they enjoy doing that or if they it doesn't kill their passion that is entirely on them but for me it kills my passion for wanting to play the bass so I don't do it if I don't want to fucking do it, I won't fucking do it. So I want to be able to play them all the way through. I, th I think a lot of those type of songs, it's a lot of stamina. I can work out the notes no fa uh, absolutely fine. Um, It's a lot of stamina, especially in Dean Town. Hopefully Katie can like edit the little... <laughs> that bit. Yeah, I want to be able to get through that without without stopping. Three pieces of advice. Um, okay, so I want to do three things, or if you want to do them too, it's up to you. I think the advice would be for me and you. If you want to hear it, if you don't want to hear it, just think of it for me. Uh, it's okay if you don't want to. I'm not forcing you. My first piece of advice is find three things that you love about yourself every day. I've heard one thing from um, one of my friends on that I've had for a while. If you wrote a list about all the things you love, how long it would be until you put yourself on there? And I thought, oh wow, that was that's that really hit home. Like I probably would think about all the things I love of other people, or I love about things that I have at objects or whatever. And I feel like a lot of things to make yourself feel good in general has been really positive and it's one of those things in my brain growing up I've always kind of had that humour it's like ugh 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 I don't want to be that person who posts a picture is like positive thoughts give positive messages all that basically all that type of thing that I was like that's just bullshit that people say it isn't it's just a way of someone picking themselves up and uh, making themselves feel positive about things and releasing that energy to other people to make either if it's one or two people who find it find it positive three positive positive things about myself every day now i am one of those who i am quite vain i like to look at myself in the mirror and i like to be like oh that looks good oh that looks good love it love it love it love it um, but the only thing I don't like is if I've had a video of me or pictures of me that I can't take myself. Obviously, I know all my angles, but like when somebody else does it, it makes me feel like, oh, I've gone like this or I've like, I've like crouched and someone can see my, like my belly and don't get me wrong, I like my weight, not too bothered. It's just sometimes the angle, it makes me feel like, oh, that's not what I 
look like or should look like or whatever not like it should look like anything in a photo like that where i'm like oh at first being like oh, i don't like that photo of me is finding three things i like about the photo whether i like my clothes whether i like my makeup whether i like my hands <laughs> or my nails just find something positive about it and making the experience of looking at that photo positive and being like and focusing on those things because in time it'll come where i'm completely positive about everything in it like i do when i look in the mirror because i'm like damn some days i do do it in the mirror in general not just like on the photos i do go oh i like my thighs today or i like my feet today or and not like i can see my feet in the mirror but you know sometimes when they just look nice um and you've painted your nails and they don't look like you know rough I think that's a really good one it gives you a lot of self-confidence that's why i do it in the mirror every single day because i feel like if i didn't i would then pick and choose about the things i don't like about myself the next piece of advice i would say is surround yourself with positive people i'll describe it this way when i first met katie and i met, met robin i would have never in the world worn anything like this i'd have never worn my makeup like this I'd have worn black baggy oversized t-shirts with jeans or whatever my personality didn't shine outwards i felt like a lot of it was trapped in and the reason i say surround yourself with positive people because when i did meet kate and robin they would say things to me that a lot of people had never kind of said to me before they would say things like that's really cool you should wear that or you look great in that not like they were just giving me compliments in the way i looked but they would i feel like in my head instead of someone just saying it i feel like they genuinely meant it and knowing what type of things they like and how positive they are and about posi body positivity about self-esteem just everything that they it wasn't like they just said it i could see it in their actions and the way things they shared the things they did the things they took part in and i was like these two girls genuinely believe that i look really fucking cool it boosted my confidence level to the fucking sky and i felt in general that i and it sounds stupid wearing a t-shirt without a fucking bra on i if you said that i would do that two years ago i'd have said fuck off sounds stupid and some girls would be like i can't believe you didn't do that or whatever but something like that in my brain i was like i can't do it i feel real self-conscious i feel like everyone's gonna see my boobs but nobody cares because people do it I've been able to buy more clothes that I feel more comfortable in or clothes that I thought I would never feel comfortable in that I do feel comfortable in now. Then doing things like that and then being, me being like, they look so fucking cool or they look, they are really cool. And then being like, you are also that cool. You just gotta like believe that you are because you are. And then I'd be like, oh, maybe I am. Maybe I can pull it off. So surround yourself with positive people that take positive actions. Just get yourself a Katie and a Robin, basically, and then you'd be all right. But you can't steal them because they're mine. Last piece of advice would be, not everybody thinks the same way. And I don't know if that's an, a piece of advice, but it's to have that in mind when you're talking to other human beings. No matter who they are, what they do, what they like, what they don't like, is everybody does not think the same way. When you get upset or mad about something or somebody has something that doesn't agree with what you want or you get down because somebody has said something to you is to think that person doesn't think the same way you do they may think similarly but they may not think exactly the way you do is to not prejudge something if you're unsure or if somebody has said something to you and you've gone oh i think they think this it's not i think they think this is to ask the person did you mean it in this way beforehand and if the worst outcome is, is yes is to talk about it with somebody first off it's like you know every, every, everybody can have the um capacity to change their opinion the reason i say that's because everybody has a different opinion either politically or whatever it is and i think that person doesn't think the way i do because this is their situation now, if they don't think that way, there are certain things that I could maybe say or suggest or talk to them about how it affects me in a certain way. Because I think that's a way to bring people around instead of like throwing your opinions and slapping them in the face. Because I feel like people just tend to close off instead of open up and taking on an opinion. I think that's a really good one. I feel like it helps with 
um, misunderstand people. Also, the self criticism in your own brain about what people think or say about you. Um, I think it's a really good one. I think it's helped me a lot because I, I used to like either going into work or anything like that. I'd be like, oh, what if they think this or what if they think that? But um, everybody thinks differently, and to not prejudge somebody if they think a certain way, you've got to um openly understand where they're coming from and adapt to how they need advice absorbing into their brain because i think some people they, they don't like the aggressive approach of you need to think this opinion because it's most ethically right yes it is the most ethically right opinion however that person then feels def like um attacked and they defend themselves instead of opening up some people do like the aggressive approach that you just tell them straight on so fair enough but yeah, I think I've rambled on about that one um, enough. Everyone doesn't think the same way that you do. So approaching people differently, not to take people's word so literally, because sometimes they might not even mean it, is to double check with them. There are all my goals and my habits and pieces of advice. I didn't think they're too crazy for the year. I feel like I've had quite a few New Year's resolutions seeing as I'm coming up 25. Ugh. Thanks for coming and listening to me ramble for about half an hour. Highly appreciate it. If anybody's watching my video, I'm surprised because I feel, I feel like I say, Kate and Robin are pretty, pretty self confident. My video is going to be good. Watch my video. I know you sat here watching it. I hope you are all great. Um, I understand the, uh, like the pandemic absolutely fucking sucks ass and we can't do anything. But genuinely, I hope you are all okay. And if you have me on social media or anything like that, and you want to give us a message just to tell me how you are, um, that's absolutely fine. I may open your message and not respond for a half an hour to an hour to two hours, three hours. But I will respond. And it's just because sometimes I, I open a message and I need to mentally prepare my answer. You're more than welcome. I'll write in the comments or anything like that. You're more than welcome to and I'll respond to them subscribe at the bottom the button is literally like there down there and press the bell thing because otherwise you won't be able to see if we post a video and there's more videos to come and then like it and all these things are free and they help us so that'd be lovely if you do bye